What's happening, YouTube? Guys, I want to do a quick video. Um, the reason for this video is I was running into a problem. I searched and searched and searched and searched, and I could not find an answer for this. Now, to some people, this may seem common sense, but for whatever reason, I couldn't wrap my tiny ass head around it. So, kind of explain the situation. <clears throat> so, I, I got, I've got a lock that happens to be, and this is going to sound really weird, but it happens to be my favorite lock. It is a vintage master lock. Um, uh, you know, uh, a padlock. It's just a, a, an old, like a 50, 60 year old master lock padlock. Anyways, um, I had it sitting on the kitchen counter, and my wife, she hates when I leave shit just sitting around. So we've got a drawer upstairs with a bunch of stuff in it. So my wife took the, the padlock and she tossed it in that drawer, um, not paying attention um, to where she put it. Um, she actually set it in with all of our batteries. And for those of you who don't know, um, you can't set metal against batteries because what happens is is, is um, it kind of triggers the batteries to leak all over the fucking place, which is exactly what they did all over my key and, uh, in essence, corrosion all over the key, down inside, um, inside the mechanism, preventing the key from turning. Um, but more importantly, I couldn't even get the key out. So, you know... Here is the key or the padlock. This is I absolutely love this lock, and I, I don't even know why I love it, but I do. Um, it's got the old master lock um, information on the back there, the patented information. Um, anyways, uh, couldn't get this bad boy. I couldn't get the key out of it, so I was I was a little bit upset, a little frustrated. WD-40 didn't work. Yeah, uh, you know, tapping it with a hammer, you know, working the WD-40 in there didn't work. I could get it to unlock, I just couldn't get the key out. So, I wanted to show you guys what I did to get the key out because uh, it would have been a lot easier had I figured this out 30 minutes prior to figuring it out. So, in essence, what I did was, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is just get some WD-40, um, you know, spray it down on both sides here. So, you've got, uh, you know, a decent amount, set it up right, WD-40 there, and there, set it upright and let that sit. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to you'll want to work that key. Um, you'll want to work that key back and forth real good. Um, get it freed up as best you can. Um, <clears throat> once you've got that done and it's set for a few minutes with WD-40, the next step is uh, you're going to need some sort of uh, um, workbench um, with with a uh, vice on it. Because you're going to need some way to keep from having to touch the lock. So I'll show you what I did. Um, very simple process. This is going to be kind of shaky, I'm sure. But uh, let's, uh, I'll do the best I can here. Sorry about this, guys. Shit. Sorry, I know that was really fucking shaky. So, once I got it down in there real good, like so, okay, then I'll take this bad boy. Just a regular ass, um, you know, this is for, uh, Fixing copper pipes and shit around the house, so I'll uh, I'll do my best to, to let you guys see what it is that I'm seeing. I mean, it's a very basic process. There's really not a whole lot to it. So get your gas going and get your fire going. Once you get your fire going, what you want to do is you want to take and you're just going to burn right down inside there. You don't want to keep it on there for a real extended period of time. And keep in mind that. Uh, the WD-40 is flammable, so uh, make sure that there's no WD-40 on your person. Um, so, you know, uh, once you've once you've done that a few times, uh, you know, I'd say probably uh, uh, about three minutes or so of uh, you know a flame on there. Um, use not your fingers like I was getting ready to, to show you. Just use some needle nose pliers. And, <laughs> yeah, 
Well, it, it, honestly, that is what happens. So the uh, the whole whole deal will, will pop out here. You just want to make sure you're not touching the lock. I mean, even in that short period of time that I had the lock uh, under under flame, it, it, it's it's there's definitely some heat to it. So you'll want to take some needle nose pliers, kind of work it, and it comes right out. So sorry for the shakiness of that video, guys. The key is really fucking hot. Um, if you got any questions, uh, you know, send me a message, um, video response, uh, private message, leave it in the comments, whatever works best for you. I hope this was fucking helpful. I hope you don't sit for 30 minutes banging on your fucking, you know, your, 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 your lock with a, with a damn hammer and, uh, <sighs> bathing it in WD-40 like I did. So, guys, take care. Until next time, be good. God bless.